Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. Today's episode is going to be really short because there's not a lot to talk about here, but something really interesting and very important happened with SpaceX's Starship just about an hour ago. So I want to show you this tweet from Eric Berger, and this is from an FAA email that got sent to all of us, but Eric's a cool guy and I want to Always, I always shout out Eric on the show. So uh, FAA completes the SpaceX Starship safety review. Good afternoon. See below for today's FAA commercial space news. The FAA completed the safety review portion of the SpaceX Super Heavy Starship Heavy License. Wait a second. Did I say that wrong? FAA completed the safety review portion of the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy License evaluation on October 31st. On Halloween. What a Halloween miracle. The background, a safety review is focused on issues that affect public health and safety of property. Basically everything around this space flight. It consists of evaluating the applicant's safety organization, uh, system safety processes, flight safety analysis, and quantitative risk criteria for launch, re-entry, and vehicle disposal. Basically, can they launch this without harming anything around them, whether it's people or the environment or animals or property, anything like that. Um, Re-entry and vehicle disposal. So can they um, dispose of the vehicle mid-air if something is going wrong? The FAA is continuing to work on the environmental review. As part of its environmental review, the FAA is consulting. Oh, I think that just messed everything up, huh? Is consulting... Um, where did I leave off here? As part of its environmental review, the FAA is consulting with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, USFWS, on an updated biological assessment under the Endangered Species Act. The FAA and the USFWS must complete this consultation before the environmental review portion of the license evaluation is completed. So the FAA says everything looks good on SpaceX's part. As far as the hardware goes, the software goes, if they can save the vehicle, if something goes wrong, uh, and they're going to protect property and people and things if they do launch this for the IFT too. Now, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is mainly concerned about the deluge system at Boca Chica. So we have a little bit of time. They actually have until next year, next February, to get through the whole process of the Fish and Wildlife Service and the Endangered Species Act. Uh, but sources close to the situation say they're not going to spend that much time on it. And they're going to possibly, and look at this comment. This is a, a great comment from Pascal. Early November launch realistic? Eric Berger says, I don't think so. And then if you look at all the replies, what about mid-November? Yep. Eric Berger thinks they're going to be done by about mid-November. So Eric's been pretty spot on with all of uh, his recommend predictions. Edit this out. Edit this out. I'm going to go with Eric on this one. He's been very good with his predictions as far as launch dates go. Now, if it's going to be mid-November, it might take SpaceX a week or two to get up to speed to ramp up to a launch. So don't expect it to launch November 15th, so to speak. So don't book your flights quite yet, your rental cars and your hotels quite yet, because it might be mid to late November before they actually do the launch if they get it. Uh, the approval from the Fish and Wildlife Service and the FAA mid-November. So I just want to I just want to show everybody this today. And I had no <laughs> I had no plans to go live. I had no plans to record anything today. So it's kind of a disheveled mess today. But I want to say thank you for watching and thank you for listening to this. And I appreciate every single one of you. I just want to get this out here so everyone has the news. So thanks everybody. And I think I have an ending screen. Do I? I actually don't. So bye, everybody. Take care. Uh, hit the like button.